have you ever noticed that really, really good people can make some really, really bad decisions? We've all been there. We've all done that. And we find that illustrated in King Asa. He was a good king. He was a good man. He did so much right. But down near the end of his reign, he made a really, really bad decision. A great army comes out to attack him. And in 2 Chronicles 16, verse 2, it says, Asa responded. He didn't respond by prayer. He didn't respond by calling a fast. He didn't respond by seeking God. He responded by removing the silver and gold from the treasuries of the temple of God. He, he took money that was supposed to be used for the work of God and the royal palace. So he, he stripped the wealth out of the royal palace. He stripped the wealth out of the temple. And he sent it to King Ben-Hadad of Aram, who was ruling in Damascus along with this message. And he asked for his help. He responded with money rather than responding with faith. I often find in our Christian lives, as we begin to prosper, it's very easy to throw money at problems rather than to have faith for God to help you with problems. Now, because he did not rely on the Lord, Second Chronicles 16, verse 7 and 8, is that at that time, Hanani, the seer, came to King Asa and told him, because you have put your trust in the king of Aram, Instead of in the Lord your God, you have missed your chance to destroy the army of the king of Aram. Don't you remember what happened to the Ethiopians and the Libyans and their vast army with all their chariots and charioteers? At that time, you relied on the Lord and he handed them over to you. He said, now look at what you've done. You, you, you rely on money and what money can buy rather than rely upon the Lord. Now, now, please, for some of you, we've come out of poverty together, and God has been good to you. And now we're standing in the face of another world economic crisis. But now you come at it from prosperity. Before, forgive me, all we had was our faith. Now we come at it from a position of we have wealth. Don't throw wealth at this problem. Get on your knees, just like you did the first time all those years ago. And seek God. Because he makes a promise in this passage that's very beautiful. One of my favorite verses in the Bible. It didn't used to be. When I was a baby Christian, I was afraid of this verse because I didn't understand the whole verse. Second Chronicles 69, the eyes of the Lord search the whole earth. Now, that's what made me afraid because nobody quoted the rest of the verse. But notice why God is searching the earth in order to strengthen those whose hearts are fully committed to him. To search the earth, to strengthen those whose hearts are fully committed to him. And then he says, what a fool you have been. He said, you, you've lost this opportunity because you trusted in what money can do rather than trusting God. He said, from now on, you'll be at war. Beloved, may I humbly beg of you, as you face this economic crisis as a businessman, as a businesswoman, as a professional, don't face this crisis from a position of strength. Well, I have money now. Face this crisis the same way you did all those years ago. In faith, trusting God to strengthen you and to help.